There's some interesting analysis of the Iranian um, attack on Israel today in the comments section. I, I, I want to I want to read one or two. Um, Divine Love, a bit of a misnomer there possibly, says, What should Iran have done? Israel violated Syrian airspace and bombed Syria and Iranian embassy. Is that how civilized nations behaved? Well, the, the there are two issues here. Number one, Israel has so far neither admitted nor been proven to have been behind the Syrian consulate attack. Secondly, Iran cannot really take the high ground, claim uh, to be high and mighty, have this high and mighty attitude to embassy security uh, with the 1979 U.S. embassy siege in its history. Uh, can it? I mean, 53 diplomats taken hostage uh, and among those people who were holding them hostage were three people who went on later to hold ministerial rank in the Iranian government, Bagheeri, al-Jafari and Hussein Dagan. So the, um, uh, the, the, this idea about the sanctity of consular space, which I entirely accept, is not something I think Iranian uh, diplomats can really focus on because it's not something that they have honoured in the past. So I think you're on very shaky territory when you when when you appeal to uh, international conventions. International conventions, I think, are right, and if Israel were proven to have been behind an attack on Iranian territory in Syria, then I think maybe there is room for some sort of um, response. I'm not convinced that a um, uh, that a um, drone attack on the scale of the one which we witnessed last night is the proportionate response, but we wait to see more of the facts.